What is going on guys? My name is 4G on this channel, Mr. Supply Drops. Today, I wanted to propose the idea that we have a real skill-based matchmaking system being added to Call of Duty. Now, it's never going to happen. The manipulative matchmaking system works incredibly well, apparently, now. But I wanted to make this video because I've seen both sides of this now. With X Defiant, you've seen no skill-based matchmaking, and with Call of Duty, you've seen the opposite, with the completely manipulative matchmaking system that is not skill-based matchmaking. Let's make that very, very clear. It is not a skill-based matchmaking system. If that were the case, you would be consistently getting decent players on your team and decent players on the enemy team, or... At least it would work out that way in a perfect environment, I guess. When you do mix up the idea of having people close by because you need to be on a lower ping, and also the fact that if you're above average, I mean, that's just already going to make it harder to find people. But still, in a perfect world, a skill-based matchmaking system like that would work out a lot better. At least it wouldn't feel so manipulated. It's really not even the fact, at least in my opinion, it's not the fact that lobbies are sweaty, quote-unquote. It's the fact that every lobby feels manipulated. It just feels like it's fixed, like you you are predetermined to either win or lose. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a lot of games feel like that nowadays. Rainbow Six Siege did not used to feel that way. Now I do feel that way. But then again, maybe that's just because I've climbed an MMR since then. I don't know. But point is, it does feel like that in Call of Duty, and it's not a very good experience. I don't think that lower skilled players have this problem as much, but I could be wrong. I don't know. But I'll tell you, when you are above average, that is exactly how it works, and it is not very fun. It really is not. But if you look at the opposite side, and you look at X Defiant, it's also, it's fun for a while. It is. But even when you're going off, having an amazing time, getting tons of kills, it's still not a very fun experience. I mean, it is for a while. Let me reword that. It is for a while, but that quickly wears off, at least for me personally. I do at some point get a little bit tired of just, just absolutely stomping the enemy team w with a 2KD. Nothing like insane, not like a 3 or 4 or any crazy thing like that. But I'm just saying, like with a 2KD absolutely stomping them, it loses that charm in my personal opinion. But again, having skill-based matchmaking the way it works in current games doesn't work either. You still need that system that feels somewhat free, like there's no manipulation going on here, but at the same time, it's still putting people around your skill, around your skill, not truly trying to be as strict as possible like it is in Call of Duty nowadays, but a system that allows you to pretty much have the freedom of no skill-based matchmaking but at the same time, it's not putting like the worst players on your team. It's not manipulating the matches. It's not making sure that you lose this game, you win these, you have a high KD this game, you have a low KD. That's what's happening constantly. It's trying to keep you addicted to the game, and that is why this garbage needs to go. People think that loot boxes and supply drops and all that stuff were manipulative. Yeah, no. They're just nothing. Nothing like that. At least they looked like a slot machine. At least people already called it out for being a slot machine. This is literally just baked into the matchmaking to keep you hooked, playing the game constantly, and people, I mean, most people who are on YouTube and watching this video or whatever, yeah, you'll know about this system already, right? And, and it doesn't work as well when you're aware of it, just so you know. So, you know, that's another reason why I'm making these videos. I just want people to be more aware of this terrible system. Don't get manipulated by it, pretty much. Be aware. I mean, most people are. They already know that after you play one good game, you're going to get a horrible game. But that is not skill-based matchmaking. That is engagement-optimized matchmaking, because that's literally how it would be. It's not based off of your skill. If it was based off of your skill, it would be your overall KD, your overall win-loss. That's pretty much it. Those are the stats that would really matter in that scenario maybe there'd be more to it but from what i can tell that's what it would be but it's not it is absolute it is reevaluating you every single lobby every single match and that is why there's disbanding lobbies you can't just have the same lobby consistently you can't have one decent lobby they have to always back you out and so that they can put you back into something else that is predetermined again pretty much so that you can't avoid the manipulation pretty much without just being aware of it but they're still trying to do it consistently like there's no way to fully avoid it if you want to play the game that's what i'm trying to say but like i said going over to x defiant the fact that i have a 2 kd and like a 0.5 win loss tells me a lot and yes i do go for the objective i do play i grind the objective i find it enjoyable to go for the objective i've always been an objective player when it comes to this kind of stuff uh, especially in x defiant there's no kill streaks or anything to go for Friendly Predator Missile inbound. Keep it up, squad. 
so why would I not play the objective? But I still end up losing most of my games, even absolutely stomping the enemy, it's still just not enough to go a 1v6. And that is the reality of no skill-based matchmaking most of the time. If you are an above average player and you're just randomly being thrown into games, it's gonna be hard for the matchmaking or the, the team balancing system to actually work properly. Whereas if you had a real skill-based matchmaking system that wasn't so goddamn strict and manipulative like they have currently with engagement optimized matchmaking, you would actually just be put into a game that is around your skill. It would be a skill bracket. There would be highs and lows, and then you would team balance based off of that. But it wouldn't be so extreme. You wouldn't get people who have like a 0.2 KD on your team when you have a 2 KD, because that, that just doesn't make any sense. But they'll put that person on your team because having a 2 KD is above average. So they have to find other people on the enemy team, and chances are they didn't find other people with 2 KDs on the enemy team. And so the way it bounces out is it's going to put the really good player on one team, with all the really bad players on that team as well, and then the average players on the enemy team. And it just feels horrible to play against, even if you are the good player. It just feels terrible, and you're going to lose most of your games. Not a good experience. And then you go over to the opposite side again, and it's horrible as well. It's not a great experience. The point is... We just need a better system in Call of Duty. We don't need to remove skill-based matchmaking. I know everyone wants to think that that is the solution to it. I don't think so, though I don't also agree that Activision is being shady when they say the things that they say. Like, we're doing it for your benefit, having this matchmaking system in, because otherwise all the low-skill players would just leave the game. Newsflash, we don't get them in our lobby anyways, because we're never really getting those kinds of players. I'm talking about like the really low skill players, like those people, everyone thinks that the average skill has gone up. I mean, I guess it has overall a little bit, but overall, people are still bad at Call of Duty. Like that is not, that's not changed in 15 years. Don't get it twisted. People think that the overall KD has gone up. I mean, I guess maybe the overall KD has, I don't know. But either way, point is people think that the overall skill level of these people have gone up overall because Call of Duty has been out so long. We have YouTube to watch, you know, what the best gun builds are. I mean, to an extent, sure, that's a possibility that some people's skill was, has gone up because of that. Overall, I do not believe that the average truly has gone up that much. The fact that uh, the average Warzone KD. We don't know what multiplayer is because, of course, they don't give a shit about multiplayer anymore. They won't publish that, but the average Warzone KD is a 0.85, and I know it's a battle royale, but still, I think it would be pretty similar to this with multiplayer as well. I think it's it's pretty similar around here, which is kind of crazy, and I don't even know how that works necessarily. I would think that it would be a round of one if you have a matchmaking system like that. It would just have to work out that way, would it not? But Maybe I'm wrong. I guess not. I don't know. But yeah, the average player has not really gone up that much. They have just been now hidden and protected with these systems. So basically, if you're an average player or below average, there's no reason for you to try to get better at Call of Duty. Or any game, actually, nowadays, honestly. Like, it's just... I don't want to say any game. Okay, some games might have a better system, but definitely not Call of Duty. Though it is really hard to tell if you're getting better at the game or not, because if you get a lot of kills one game, you could be just going against really bad players because the game has manipulated that to give you a good game because you've been doing bad. And then the next game, you'll get stomped by... It could be even average players. Maybe you're below average. You don't even know. It's just a horrible, horrible experience. But it works, it keeps people addicted because they literally have psychologists that come in and explain on how they can manipulate, how they can make algorithms basically in ways to manipulate the brain. It's just sad, honestly, it's sad. So how about you just make a fun game with a balanced skill-based matchmaking system? That's all you need to do. But microtransactions make so much goddamn money, they'll just keep doing it. But anyways, that's gonna wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you're new here and you like videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.